here we are in part four of building a Flash Action Script 3 WYSIWYG Rich Text Editor for input forms, forums, and anything you might want to give your users the ability to format the text that they're writing, that they're typing in. Okay, so in this one, we're going to focus on the, if you want to get to the previous lessons, there's a playlist on my channel, especially for this. Um, so I'm gonna get the graphics in on this one so let's go to the dimensions and let's go to I hit this uh, settings button down here it brings up your document properties I'm gonna make mine 700 wide that's what I want it on the page in the forums where it's gonna live at develop PHP and I, I know I was talking about collaborating with people on this one but uh, I, I'm just gonna zoom through it and get it all done and because I want to use it because Safari and Chrome users don't have a cool posting tool like Internet Explorer and Firefox users have in my site. And that's not cool, man. Not cool at all. So let's see what the height should be. Let's make it 500 just for now and press OK. Now I made a skin in Fireworks and I just wanted to briefly show you how you can get a skin in on yours. Press Control C. You can make yours in Illustrator, Photoshop, Fireworks. MS Paint, whatever you want. So under the interface layer, we're going to create a new layer on top of it and then drag it under the interface layer and call it Skin. On the Skin layer, make sure it's highlighted, press Control V because that skin is in our clipboard ready to be pasted in. Control V is paste. So now it's pasting it in as movie clip into the current frame and now I have a little bit of room on the edges to make a nice little drop shadow effect if I want see so I can put a drop shadow on that let me go ahead and do that filter drop shadow filter or maybe I'll give it a glow yeah let's give it a glow blur it out real nice so it looks like drop shadow and not too strong there we go now it looks like it has a kind of like a drop shadow around the whole thing that is beautiful not even so strong maybe around 50 48 that's beautiful okay and I named it Develop PHP's Custom WYSIWYG Rich Text Editor. Now I'm going to position things around. I'm going to make new buttons, design new buttons, and then we'll pick back up. And I'm going to show you guys how to make the color picker. Okay, I've got my little bold underline and italics buttons looking the way I want. And they are button instances, each with an instance name. And I haven't programmed in the underline functionality yet. I'm going to do that right now. Before we add any more code, I want to add some code comments here. Make input field blank on arrival. And we'll put some other comments in here to section off different things. And then I'll show you where I commented stuff out. And then we'll add for the uh, the functionality for the underlining, and then I'll drag out a color picker, and we'll program that in. Okay, now this is a little more organized here, and we can show all of our our settings a little more easily. When we look at it, it'll be a little more easy to decipher what's going on where. So what we're going to do now is grab this whole other section for italicizing or the whole section for italicizing and we're going to put it right here and this is going to be listener and function that takes care of underlining and ununderlining or de-underlining whatever you call that okay so this will be our underline button we grab that 
right there put that instance name underline button make underline grab that put it here because that's the function name that's going to fire off when they select the underline make this underline make underline input format underline which I haven't made yet and I'm going to put that up top in a second and then format default underline right here I think that's that and then we'll just make a new format right here we'll call it for underlining and reverse and uh, let's see format let's get that format name format underline nope that's the default format default underline and then format underline would be here and here format default underline I just screwed that all up that's for italicizing italics italics there we go default underline that goes here and here then format underline would go here and here and then we change this to underline and this to underline okay let's test out our underlining functionality by pressing control enter hello world I want to make a point that you see this word so if I highlight the word and press the underline button there it is it underlines it now let's highlight a couple of letters in it and try and un-underline those works good let's un-underline the whole word let's underline this section looks like it works fine to me okay so now I'm gonna throw in the color picker let's get that one in let's uh, go into the components and grab the color picker throw it on stage now what that did in your library is it put color picker instance there and the component assets for that component now I'm gonna give it a default different default color because I don't want it to be black make mine purple or something like that a little more colorful and uh, let's give it an instance name of color picker now let's make a new function for that color picker right here listener underlining and we'll grab that whole thing control C this is listener and function that takes care of coloring I don't think we'll need a conditional in here maybe anyhow in here this event listener is uh, not going to be a mouse event and actually before I even do that yeah let me go ahead and do that I'll show you that right quick so inside of this uh, listener we have to select color picker event or we have to assign that this is a color picker event or else it won't run like that and then this will be change so when they change it we're listening for when they change the color and we'll name this 
color change handler just to have it make sense so color change handler that's the function so let's make that the function name right there function is gonna fire off right there whatever we want to happen is gonna happen right here so before we do that we have to import the color picker because you'll get an error if you don't so import fl.events dot color picker event just like we wrote down here dot color picker event semicolon so now that's imported the color picker event now we can use it and uh, so what's going to happen here is we want to set a format for the color and that's going to be a variable format so it's going to be a little tricky. So let's grab this here for italicizing. And let's put it inside of that function. And instead of it saying format italic, it's going to say format color. new format dot color equals and normally a color value would look like this if it was say red right there but we want to sync in a variable that's going to be the event dot target of the hex value that's coming from this color picker change event so right here we're going to put this input field set format right here and we're going to set it with this format color and we're going to have let's see this is going to be tricky uh, okay first let's change this instance name to what it should be color picker right there oops and I grab this here, control C pop it in place here so we're at event listener color picker event change and this is not a mouse event it's a color picker event trace and I'm also tracing that hex value right there to see if it goes incorrectly like that and I'm trying SBI and SBE here instead of the whole input field dot selection begin index because we already claimed that up here so we could possibly use that if it doesn't work we'll try it the other way let's see I think that's everything we have our imported our color picker event that all looks good okay let's try it Okay, there's my output trace. It shows us the hex value. Now let's see if our text got colored. Yes! Man, that was a tricky little bugger there. But, we persevered through it. Let's see if we can color change that to red. There's all the hex values. It's beautiful. All right, this thing is really getting there. All right, so that takes care of underlining and color changing added to the system. It's a beautiful thing.